well, why are these little ladies sitting here and this book? Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you all about all of this. We're going to have a president. And we're going to, I'm going to tell you about these little dollies. Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag new to me. This is hosted by our sweet, sweet friend, Kimmy at Kimmy's Kitchen and More. You can go over and watch and see what she posts today and what everyone else that joins in this collaboration posts today. I'm going to do two different collabs today. Well, both of them. I know a lot of you are enjoying the president's and their wives series that I've had going on. It started at number one and we are almost to the end. So, and if you're interested, you're always welcome to go back in my playlist and look. I know you're probably wondering and you're thinking, she said she wasn't going to get any more dolls. Well, I want to tell you about these. I was at the Salvation Army store two weeks ago. I've had these sitting here. I don't know that I'm going to keep these. These may be a gift somewhere. But what's unique about it is look look at this pretty face. Each one of these were $275. And they didn't even have a markdown. And I bought them at the Salvation Army store. But let me show you. It's not just this doll. It, they put a stand on her. I'm going to take the stand off. You've probably seen dolls similar to this somewhere along the lines. Look at the details. I'm going to move this one aside a little bit where you can get a little look at this. Somebody's put her face on and did all this. So this cute dress, this cute little apron, but lucky. You see what I'm doing? I hope I'm doing it just right. Ta-da! There she is in one. Isn't it cute? And if you decided you didn't want these dolls and you made dolls, this is like a, a little handkerchief and another handkerchief. She's got little earrings on. This pretty little girl. Isn't she cute? Okay, same thing with this one. Turn this one. Turn her over. You notice she still has all these cute little handkerchiefs. And that is wonderful in itself. And we're going to turn this one inside out. And I think they have the most pretty faces. Somebody really worked hard on these. Look at her. Now, is not that the cutest thing well that's bad english isn't this the cutest thing you ever did see i know uh, they've made things like this before but i haven't seen them quite like this and when i seen them i thought they're going home with me they may be a gift they may not but aren't they cute now on to our other subject that was new to me these beautiful dolls we are on Sorry, we are on our 42nd president, Bill Clinton. And I'm sure most all of you remember him because it wasn't that long ago whenever we had him as our president. He was born August 19th, 1946. He's a year younger than me in Arkansas, and he served from 1993 to 2001, he had two, uh, he served two terms, and his vice president was Albert Gore. Okay, here's what it says about him. Bill Clinton was president during a time when the country was at peace. The economy was also doing well. Fewer people were out of work, and more people owned homes. As president, Clinton helped pass laws to improve education, protect the environment, and give parents who needed to care for sick family members 
time off from their jobs. He also worked with world leaders to make it easier for their countries to trade with the United States. White House scandals led to Clinton being the second president in history to be impeached. He was not voted out of office since leaving the White House. Clinton has created the Clinton Foundation to help improve health, education, and in the environment around the world. Okay, right here, this little picture right here, it said, did you know that Clinton is a good saxophone player? He even played the sax on TV. And this other little picture down here. While Clinton was in high school, he was invited to Washington, D.C., where he met and shook hands with President John F. Kennedy. That moment inspired him to become President of the United States. Okay, and now we have the, by the way, that this little book I got at Dollar Tree. And this I got from my sweet friend, Laura. Thank you, Laura. I love you, girl. I hope we get to have lunch this week. So it's a little fan that she gave me, and I've been so happy. It's a little more involved than the other. The print writing is a little bit harder, and I'm going to put my glasses on. He was, okay, we already know he was born in Arkansas at the town of Hope. That's a good name. Bill Clinton took the name to heart and grew up hankering to share it with the rest of the world, an instinctive politician who, by his own chipper admission, has been running for president since he was a boy. He was active in student government in grade school and grade and high school. At home, meanwhile, he had his hands full rescuing his mother from a dragon in the form of an abusive alcoholic stepfather. Clinton majored in international re relations in Wa Georgetown University and worked part-time for Senator William Fulbright. He attended Oxford on a scholarships, the Rhodes, and then forged ahead to Yale Law. Returning to his home state, Clinton practiced and taught law for several years, and in 1976, he was elected Arkansas's Attorney General. And two years later, its youngest ever governor. He lost his bid for re-election in 1980, a stinging public rebuff, but recaptured the governorship in 1982. By the time he announced his candidacy for the Democratic president nomination in 1991, he was regarded as one of the nation's most effective governors. It was a troubled, riddled, and embittered campaign with Clinton hard-pressed to defend himself against accusations that he had dodged the Vietnam War and had engaged in extramarital affairs. But he held his ground in primaries and, to the astonishment of many, won the nomination. Then the saxophone-playing, movie-loving, barbecue-eating candidate really went to work, flicking on the switch of his incandescent personality as never before. Thanks in part to full sport candidate Ross Perot. He won with a 43% of the popular vote and more than twice as many electoral votes as President George Bush, H.W. Bush had. That's Clinton was criticized for encouraging his wife, Hillary Rodden Clinton, to overstep the traditional boundaries of First Lady and spearhead the campaign of nationalized health care, as well as for devoting a disproportionate amount of time to relatively minor matters like gays in the military. But overall, he's shown his 
record was distinguished by the passage of a 500 million deficit reduction bill, the North American Free Trade Agreement, and the Family Medical Leave Act, as well as by thriving technology fueled in economy. This is the last paragraph. Despite his opponent Bob Dole's attack on his record and character, Clinton won hands down in 1996, becoming the first Democratic president since FDR to win a second term. The economy continued to soar. Neither the multiple investigations into his questionable business dealings back in Arkansas nor an impeachment trial following allegations of sexual misconduct with a White House intern could succeed in bringing Bill Clinton down. He is remembered as the chief executive who achieved uncommonly low unemployment and inflation, uncommonly high home ownership. The man from Hope left America with a budget surplus and all sense of optimism. Okay, you guys all remember all a lot of things going on there. And that was interesting. You probably remember a lot of it. So, and, and I do too. Now, this book, I would love to tell you, I'm going to read Hillary's story out of this, but I'm at the end of the book. This was published before they came into office. What I do plan to do with this, and th by the way, this book was from Carol Crinkle Path. We missed you at our meetup, Carol. And by the way, if you didn't see that meetup, please go back and watch it. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, every one of us girls ended up doing a video, so you can follow each one of them if you like to see everyone's take on that. That was a fun day. Okay, back to um, this book. This book. You know, I'm at the end of it, but I got it mid in the middle of my series. So what I plan to do when I'm finished and you see how close I am to the end, I plan to go back and uh, do all the president's wives, read them. I Depending on it might be one or two a week or whatever till I do this. And I will put a link to the president. If you didn't see it, you can go back and watch that also. Lots of things. I still have my tutorial that I want to show you of how I made those bags. And it's almost time to go meet my friend. Let me, I got to go get in my car and get to the donut shop to meet my friend, Miss Susie. Let's see. She turned, is it today? Her birthday, she's 94 in a day or two. I might be a day or two off. Uh, anyway. We're going to meet at the donut shop today and have a nice visit. Blessings to you all. Come back every time and don't forget Jesus loves you. Check out what everybody else did on this hashtag new to me. God bless you.